What's up, everybody? I'm Marco with the Comics Pals. I'm sitting here next to Alexis Zidit, right? Awesome. He's uh, the artist for Space Riders, a great, awesome book from uh, Black Mask, and he's doing the art on it. Dude, it's phenomenal. I love it. It's so stylistic. It's just, it's, uh, it reminds me of, like, some underground comic stuff. Like, it's, it's the best. So, my first question, how much do you bench? 200 pounds. Done. 200 pounds. That's it. Interview over. That's it. That's all we need to know. That's it. Um, no, but seriously, um, I, I do want to know, like, where, where did this come from? I, I read in some past interviews, you sort of came up with, like, the, the main idea for the story, and then you brought it over to, to Fabian? Yeah. Uh, where, uh, can I hold it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, like, I came up with the characters, like, design and everything, like, the logo, the name, and um, then I, uh, I made, like, a post in my Facebook wall like looking for a writer and Fabian was like one of the guys like actually I, I really like like the way he 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 made like a story you know like I, I was looking for like something like really like simple or like you know like catchy um, like quick to read yeah, yeah. I, I really don't like read comics you know like when, I, when, the, when they put like so many balloons and it's yeah. like uh, I can't read like a book you know like, I don't have to spend my time on, on this uh, so uh, basically, the, the inspiration for all this is, you know, like, like when I was a kid, like watching like cartoons and um, reading like uh, '80s comics. Um, uh, in that time, I was like also like really into like heavy metal magazine when it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it, man. It's like everything I like, like we put it together in a book. Yeah. That's awesome. And so, what? So then it, you sort of got it from like those 80s comics. What, what kind of 80s comics were they? Were they, were they mostly American? Uh, you are of Venezuelan descent, so like, or were they also like a mixture? Did you have that added bonus? Uh, I guess it was like a mixture. Like at that time I was like, uh, I saw my first like Robert Crumb comics. Yeah. So I, was, I got like really into like, uh, how you call that? Underground, yeah. underground comics. But like uh, I have like, a lot of influence with like, uh, comics from Spain. Okay. Also like underground. I used to like collect this magazine called El Vibora, and it was like a like a really like crazy magazine, you know, like everything goes on that magazine. It, but it, it, you know, they call it like comics with an X in the end, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but all, also, I, I, I am from this small town in Venezuela. I only we, uh, at the time when I was a kid, we only had like one channel, okay. and that channel for like some reason only have like manga, like no no American uh, uh, animation. So it was like uh, Capitan Futuro. I don't know how they call it in English. Uh, Galactico. I think his name in English is Star Singer. No, it's like all like 70s, like Gona Guy stuff. Like Messenger C, uh, Ultraman. So yeah, it's a, so probably like between like TV shows. It's like a mix between like TV shows and the comics I was like reading at the time. You know, like, like DC, like in the 70s, like Neil Adams, Batman, um, um, and Esther Anko stuff. Like, actually, uh, uh, like people always ask, ask me about the color of the Space Rider. It's just like Esther Anko color from like the 70s. So, uh, do you still, are you still influenced by like that kind of anime manga style? Is that something that you still like watch and do? Maybe like a little bit, uh, mostly by like Gona Guy. But like I think like now it's like everything, you know. Like now it's like music. Like it's a lot like heavy metal on this too. Like heavy metal, the music, like stoner metal, like Sleep, uh, Electric Wizard, all that, like Black Sabbath. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like by now it's like a mix of everything. So I, I kind of, you know, it's a mix of movies, TV shows, like what I like, posters, uh, art, or whatever. Yeah. And I feel like. I feel like that plays like really well to to your style, just because you get to draw from so much, and just like it just becomes like this hodgepodge of just like, I mean, honestly, it's like it's like some crazy, like it's a crazy ride, dude. It's like it's just like a monster of a ride. Yeah. And um, I was curious, so you guys sort of threw in like some like um, Spanish references and stuff, uh, like for example, like um, Skull Ship Santa Muerte, right? Yeah. El Capitan Peligro, like that kind of stuff. Was that like a conscious choice? Was that like? Well, like uh, well. When uh, when I look like comics today, like some of the uh, like that, like I feel like every comics like right now is like boring. Like usually, like comics like feel like they're made for like uh, people is like pitching like a TV show, 
that are, that are like super safe, you know? Yeah. They are like, like, they set up, it's a neighborhood, it's like regular people, you know, it's like, so they know like, okay, it's like, no, it's gonna be like a cheap TV show. But like also, like also, always like say, why, uh, why in every like sci-fi uh, movie or comics, like the main guy is like a blonde guy, you know? Why blonde guy, why? <laughs> Why can't be like like Latino in space, you know? So uh, because Latino is like Mexican, I am Venezuelan, so I said like you know, dude, like I want like I want like people like know they are Latinos, you know? So they, they use like you know like words like coño, or, you know, stupido, puto, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, also like uh, you know like Capitan Peligro, he, uh, he don't he don't like to be like called like Captain. He have to be like Capitan in Spanish. So uh, it was like a reference, like, you know, uh, because so sometimes I, I feel like every time like people like, like do Latinos and comics or movies, have to be like some from like Southwest LA. <laughs> That's the only Latino we have. Yeah, 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 like Cholo, yeah, like, yeah why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, like, it can be like regular, just like people who are Latino. So uh, hopefully like people understand like, like even like Mono or Yara, the robot, they, they all supposed to be Latinos. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. And like, as, as somebody who is Ecuadorian, who is Puerto Rican of, of that Hispanic descent, like, that's the first thing. I was like, dude, this is, it. like, his name is Capitan Peligro. Like, El Mono está ahí. Like, it, he, he's there. And, like, I, I connected with that. So, like, like, thank you guys for, like, for doing that because um, I feel like we need that representation, um, especially now. So, like, just having those characters as main characters, it, it makes it an important book. And it makes it, like, a really fun read as well. Um, how do you feel about like integrating that, like, like trying to spread that? Is that kind of like a thing you guys were trying to go for, like spread that message out? Like uh, at the beginning, I wasn't sure, but then when we came out with like uh, uh, after like we finished the, the first volume of uh, Space Rider, like uh, Fabian told me like you have like any more ideas? Yeah, I said like yeah, man. Like 2010, I had like this idea called uh, it, it was called Peligro Supremo. Okay. But I said like you know what? Like we should we probably should like call it now like Tarantula because. It's, you know, like, you don't, like, write it in English the same. Okay, okay. So it's, not, like, no trouble for, like, you know, speaking English people. And I said, like, you know, these are the characters, like, the chick, Tarantula. She's, like, a James Bond, like, dressed up with, like, a, you know, like, bad, like, superhero. And then, like, they, they have, like, another guy, Sombra. That means shadows. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and he disappeared. Like, those, like, cartoons where, like, people, like, go inside his own shadow. Uh, and then, like, Señor Muerte is, like, just, like, a creepy, like, dead guy who lives in a uh, cemetery or whatever. Um, so, I, after, like, that, I said, like, yeah, like, probably, like, you know, like, every, like, comic we made for now on, like, it's going to be, like, with, just, like, based on Latino. Because I say, like, this is supposed to be in South America, even when we don't say what it is. But, like, you know, like, I, I guess our universe is, like, a Latino, like, Spanish-speaking universe, yeah. That's awesome, and like, just keep doing it, dude. Like that, that's awesome. We definitely need that. Um, it's so important right now, especially now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, dude. Like, is there anything that you guys have upcoming aside from Space Riders, aside from Tarantula? Like, it, I know Galaxy Brutality is out. I think the fourth issue is supposed to drop soon. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I guess my like next uh, thing with Fabian is something like this. Yeah, it's gonna be like the it's gonna be like the '80s like neon thing, like you know, like yeah, it's gonna be called like Night Hunters. Ah, <laughs> uh, once again, like they're gonna have like you know like Spanish name, and uh, it's gonna be like Miami 1984 and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, guys, be on the lookout for that stuff. It's awesome. Uh, Space Riders is awesome. I'm gonna pick up Tarantula, you know, and. I'm gonna follow you guys, like, especially for, for pushing that, for really trying to bring that out. Um, guys, if you wanna watch anything else from the Comics Pals, follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, subscribe to the channel. We have content coming out of New York City, up the wazoo. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>